Ill Met by Moonlight, The Abduction of General Cripe is a non-fiction partly autobiographical book written by W. Stanley Moss, a British soldier, writer and traveller. It describes an operation in Crete during the Second World War to capture German General Heinrich Kreip. Moss kept a diary during the war years and based his book on it. The 2014 edition includes an introduction by one of Moss's children and an afterword by Patrick Lee Fermer. The story was made into a 1957 film with the same title starring Dirk Bogard by the British writer-director-producer team of Michael Powell and Americ Pressburger. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Development and publication. Moss recounted his and Patrick Lee Fermer's activities during the Second World War as agents in Crete of the Special Operations Executive SOE, notably their extraordinary kidnapping of Heinrich Kripe, commander of the 22nd Air Landing Infantry Division that was occupying Crete, and his removal to Cairo and British War Forces in 1944. The manuscript was written in early 1945 but was censored by the head of SOE, Major General Sir Colin Gubbins CD, by instruction to Colin Mackenzie BB100, head of Force 136. When the book was finally published in 1950, it was selected by W. Somerset Maugham as one of the best three books of that year writing more thrilling than any detective story I can remember, and written in a modest and most engaging manner." The book was chosen to lead the BBC's famous radio series Now It Can Be Told of 1950. It has been republished many times since and remains in print. The title is a quotation from Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream Act 2 Scene 1, Line 60. The book has been translated into Spanish, Italian, and Greek. The aftermath of Ill Met by Moonlight is described in Moss's second book, A War of Shadows, covering his return to Crete and his subsequent operations in Greece and the Far East. Topic <laughs> Summary In May 1941, German forces attacked and occupied Crete. Allied forces were driven back and evacuated to North Africa by June. The Special Operations Executive SOE inserted agents on Crete in order to work with the local resistance in harrying German occupying forces. On 4 February 1944, Major Patrick Lee Fermer and Captain William Stanley Moss and two Cretan SOE agents left Egypt by plane for Crete. Their intention was to parachute into Crete but after arriving at the drop zone, only Lee Fermer was able to parachute successfully. The others had to abandon the attempt due to bad weather and were returned to Egypt. On landing Lee Fermer was met by a group from the Cretan resistance, with whom he remained until the arrival of the rest of the SOE team. After three more attempts at a parachute jump over a two-month period, Moss and the other two arrived by motor launch ML-842 on 4 April 1944. They were met on the beach by Lee Fermer and another SOE agent, Sandy Rendell. Their target General Muller was replaced by General Kripe just before they arrived. The team decided to proceed with the plan to abduct the German commanding officer. The SOE team included a number of Cretans, Antony, Antonis Papalionidis, Mickey, Michaelis Akumanakis, and Gregorios Schnarakis. Mickey was especially welcome as his house was opposite Kripe's residence, the Villa Ariadne, in the village of Knossos. The team reconnoitred the area and planned the abduction. Dressed as a Cretan shepherd, Lee Fermer travelled on the local bus to check Knossos and the area around the German headquarters. He decided that the German headquarters would be too difficult to penetrate. After a few days of alternately observing the actions of the general, they finalised the details of the abduction. 
The plan was for the two British officers, dressed as corporals in the Feldgendarmerie German military police, to stop the general's car on his way home at what was supposed to be a routine checkpoint. On the night of 26 April 1944, the two British officers stopped the general's car before the Villa Ariadne. When the car stopped, Lee Fermer took care of Kripe and Moss knocked the driver out with his kosh. Moss drove the team and the general in the general's car for an hour and a half through 22 controlled roadblocks in Heraklion before leaving Lee Fermer to abandon the car. When Lee Fermer left the car, he also left documents revealing that the kidnapping had been done by British commandos so that no reprisals should be taken against the local population. With his Cretan escorts, Moss set off with the general across country to a rendezvous where they would be joined by Lee Fermer. Hunted by German patrols, the group moved across the mountains to reach the southern side of the island, where a British motor launch ML842 commanded by Brian Coleman was to pick them up. On 14 May 1944, the SOE team and the general were finally picked up from a beach near Rodokino, possibly Peristeers Beach, on the southern side of the island. They were transported to safety, landing at Mersa Matru in Egypt. After the war, a member of Kripe's staff reported how, on hearing the news of the kidnapping, an uneasy silence in the officers' mess in Heraklion was followed by, Well gentlemen, I think this calls for champagne all round. Post-war correspondence explains that Kripe was disliked by his soldiers because, amongst other things, he objected to the stopping of his own vehicle for checking in compliance with his commands concerning approved travel orders. This tension between the general and his troops, in part, explains the caution of sentries in considering stopping the general's car as Moss drove it through Heraklion. The book was due to be published in Germany in 1950. Kripe alleged that he had never given his parole not to shout or to try to escape to Moss and Lee Fermer as described by Moss in the book. Kripe secured an injunction preventing publication of the book in Germany on the grounds that the statement in the book was untrue. Lee Fermer's report after the operation and the publication of his account of the abduction published in 2015 both corroborated Moss's version of events. Topic. See also Sophie Moss Patrick Lee Fermer